Okay, so because this entire three weeks is really focused on drones, now that you've played around with Scratch, I'm gonna show you how to make your own drone flight simulator. Um, and then once you're done with this, you're gonna have an opportunity to add things to the simulator, change it, modify it, do all kinds of cool stuff, and then build a controller for that simulator. Once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to the real physical drones, okay? So um, I'm gonna do this step by step. So please stop and rewind the video as you go through. Feel free to modify as we go through as well, okay? So here we go. Let me show you the end product. Now this end product is meant to be a basic template. What you're gonna do with this end product is modify it, make it your own, right? So what you're gonna see right now is really bare bones. And I did that on purpose. I want you to take it to the next level. So check it out. When we hit the green flag, the drone is gonna start at a random position, okay? When we hit the up arrow, it's gonna fly up. When we hit the left arrow, it's gonna hover left. Right arrow, hover right. Up and left. Up and right. Space bar flip. I let go, it just falls to the ground. Again, up, left arrow, right arrow, up and left, up and right. Space bar flip. Okay, so that's the basic. Lots of some fun stuff you can do with it to add to it, but let me teach you how to make that basic code. So here we go. So we're gonna go to file, new. All right, so here we are. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the scratch cat and we're gonna get a Tello drone in there. So I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type in Tello drone image. I'm gonna look around for one I want. Let's see. Which one could I use? I want, you know, and you can pick any one you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Let's go with this one. That's cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna save the image. I'm gonna save it to my desktop there. And I'm gonna call it drone. There you go. So I'm gonna go back to Scratch. Oh, and I wanna title this. This is my Drone Flight Simulator. Yay. So now I'm gonna go over here, hit this and go to Upload. Grab it there, okay? And I'm gonna change the size of this because it's way too big. Let's change it to 20. Ooh, that's good. So now I have that drone, but I want to give it two costumes. I want to give it one costume for being this way, and I want to give it one costume for being upside down for when I do the flip. So I'm going to add another one here. That's going to be called dr drone two. And I'm going to go to costume. Ooh, I should not have added it there. That's a good mistake. I didn't need to do that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to right click and just say duplicate that. And now I have another costume and I'm going to flip this one vertically. So that one's going to be upside down. Now you can go through and you can get rid of this white stuff here. If you want, just by doing that. And it can make your drone look much more realistic when you add different backgrounds. So you don't see this white part. Okay, but you don't have to do that. I just wanted to show you that that's an option for later when you go to editing. Okay, so now we have our two costumes. I'm going to click on this one. and There we are. Okay, so let's add the first code here. We want the first one to be when I click this, the drone is going to start at a random position. So I'm going to go to controls. I'm going to do events clicked. And I'm gonna to go to glide to random position. Okay, so. Okay, so whenever, whenever I start this off, my drone is gonna to glide to a random position. That's just gonna be how I'm gonna start it off. You don't have to start yours off that way, but that's fine, okay? Now, if I'm not touching any controls at all, 
I want the drone to be falling as if it was falling because of gravity. Okay. So I'm going to go here to controls and I'm going to go here to this one right here. And I want this always to be happening. So I'm going to click a forever loop and I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to go to not change X, but change Y by, and I'm just going to choose negative five. Okay. So now when I click it, it's going to go to random position and then fall. Random position and fall. Random position and then fall. Random position and then fall. Okay, that's fine. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to counteract that. I want to be able to press the up arrow and allow it to fly. Now, if I make my change Y by anything, uh, if I make it by four, let's say, that negative five is going to win and it won't fly up. If I make it change Y by five, it's gonna stay steady. So I need to make it something greater than five. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ch choose this. Now this is gonna be my up arrow and I'm gonna click forever and I'm gonna put an if statement in. And what I'm gonna say in this if statement is I'm gonna say if up arrow is pressed, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change not X, but Y by 11. So more than double that. So a good press on the up arrow is gonna cause it to fly. So now let's see if that works. So random position, fall, up arrow, Ooh, that's great. So I press it once, it gets a little lift. If I hold it, it goes up. Okay, now I can change that around. For example, remember if I change that just to, let's say six, watch what's gonna happen. It's much harder for it to, oh, I'm pressing for it to fly up. But you might, you might like that, right? So that's totally up to you. Okay, so now I have gravity affecting it. I have gravity being counteracted by the up arrow. So now what I need is my left and my right arrows. And what I want is when I press left, I want it to go left and not fall. I want it to hover and go left. And when I press right, I want it to hover and go right, okay? But before I do that, let's add some sound in here, right? We, we have no sound at all. So let's go ahead and when I click the up arrow, let's add some sound in there. So I go in here to sound and I'm gonna go there and I choose a sound here and I like this space flyby. I like that one. So I'm going to choose that space flyby right there. I'm going to go back to code. And I'm going to play start sound. And every time you add a sound, it goes there. So that's space flyby. So now you see, whenever I press the up arrow, it plays that. When I let go, the sound stops, which is really nice. Okay, so now what I want is I want the same kind of thing, but I want left and right, and I want it to hover. So I'm gonna right click on this and say duplicate, because it's gonna be a very similar code. Okay, I'm gonna click this so I can see more. And here, I want this to be left arrow. Now, what do I wanna have happen when I hit the left arrow? What I wanna have happen is two things, and this is kind of tricky. When I hit the left arrow, I want it to change X, and we're gonna have that be by negative five. Why not, okay? So it's gonna go to the left by negative five, but I don't want it to fall also. So watch what happens if I don't put any change by Y in here. So when I click it, I start it, I go up, now watch when I hit left, it still falls. I don't want that to happen. So I'm also gonna put in a change Y by five, which is gonna counteract the gravity effect, which I had in there earlier. So now, if we look over here, watch what happens when I hit the left arrow. Now it hovers left and we have our sound. 
So let's do the same thing for right. So double click, duplicate, boom, and just change that to the right arrow. So now we're getting really close. Let's take a look here. I go up, left, hover, right. Ooh, oh, I made a mistake. You see the mistake? I didn't change this X. This X needs to be by five, not negative five. I can't just duplicate. So let's now let's try it again. Left, right, nothing, I fall. Up, nothing, I fall. Now watch what happens if I hit up and to the left. Ooh, cool, and up and to the right. Up and to the right, up and to the left. So I almost have my code done now. Everything's looking really good. What I just need now is my flip. Okay, so I have going up, going left, going to the right. And if I hit up and to the left, it goes diagonally to the left. And I hit up and to the right, it goes diagonally. Now, if you notice, it goes more up than to the left because up is 11 and left is negative 5. Now, let's say we change these both to negative 11 and positive 11. Watch what's going to happen here. Maybe more diagonal. I actually really like that. I'm going to keep mine like that. All right, so now we just need to flip, and this is a really, really cool feature, and this is something that you can edit with a lot. You can add a bunch of different costumes in there. So this is going to be kind of a generic-looking flip, but that's okay. So when I say click, I go to looks, okay? And I'm going to go switch costume to drone 2, right, because that is the upside-down costume. And then I'm going to let it wait for a fourth of a second. I'm just choosing fourth of a second randomly. So a fourth of a second is 0.25 seconds. And then I'm going to look, I'm going to switch it back to the other costume. This is drone one. So let's go through and let's see. I think the code is done. Now, we have no other backgrounds, not a lot going on here, but still basic code for you to mess with. So it's going to glide to a random position so that you don't really know where you're starting. I just think that's kind of fun. Up arrow, it's going to go up by 11. It's always going to be falling by negative 5 if nothing is pressed. Left arrow, negative 11. Right arrow, positive 11. But both of those have change Y by 5 so that they hover and counteract the gravity when we do that. And then we have the costume switch. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, I needed to add something in here that I didn't add, and that is wrong. I don't want it when that's clicked. I want it when space is clicked. I want that to be my flip. Silly. All right, so now let's check it out. Okay. Oops. So green flag. Up. Right, left, up, right, left, up. Now I notice it's going faster right and left because it's not counteracting anything. So you might, it might, that might, might not be realistic for you. Actually, let's go back and temper that a little bit because I think that's kind of a fun thing to think about. So let's look at what's counteracting here. This one... Where's the up arrow? Up arrow, this is 11. Down, this is negative 5. So this is winning by 6. Okay? 11 minus 5 is going to be 6. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and figure out, okay, go through and instead of making these negative 11, let's make this negative 6. And let's make this positive 6. So what I mean by that is changing it by 11. It took 5 to get it even, right? And now it's got 6 above that gravitational effect. So here, same thing now. We have 6 to the right, 6 to the left. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens here. Left. Now if you notice, it's going to the left just the same exact amount as it's going to the right. And what's going to happen? 
And notice when I hit the space bar, we get a flip. Now what we don't have in here is we don't have a hover. A hover now for some reason and you could probably fix this but um, oh yeah that's because when I was holding the left arrow and the right arrow I noticed that it was actually going up and that's because it's adding together these change Y by 5 and change X by 5 and making it change X by 10 so when I was pressing the left and the right arrow at the same time let's go and look at that Look at it's going up, but one of them it doesn't. So it's counter left and right are canceling out the left and the right motions, but it's adding that Y motion. So let's let's add um, a hover when we press left and right at the same time, and then we'll be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, and this is going to be our hover command. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And in order to hover, all we need to do is change Y by five. That's gonna hover. And we're gonna use an operator here. It's really cool, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna go that out. And that. So when left arrow is pressed and right arrows press at the same time play our sound and change y by five okay so let's go through and look at everything i think this is done it's so going to go to a random position and gravity is always going to make it fall at negative five up arrow it's going to change by y by 11. right arrow pressed it's going to change x by six and left arrow pressed, it's going to change x by negative 6. We chose that negative 6 because that is the difference between 11 and minus 5. Therefore, left and right are going to have the same features as up and down. Um, then we have this costume switch with a space, which is going to do be the flip. Now, you can make this at all different kinds of angles. Ma imagine if you had like five or six different costumes showing it moving at varying angles. And you can change that in here. You can go ahead and and alter that so that it is at different angles. It's not a problem at all, okay? Um, and then we have that hover command right here. Um, and if we hit left and up, it's obviously gonna go diagonally um, and right and up and all that kind of stuff. So let's go through and let's look at this and make sure that this is everything we want for our basic code. So start at random position, up, let go, up, let go, up, let go, left, let go. Right, let go. Up and left. Up and right. Okay, so now something is not working when I. When I hit left and right together, now it's going up really fast. It's not hovering. Okay, and that is because. It's adding everything together now. It's not knowing that I'm pressing left and right because I have all these left and rights. So we need to change this to just a new key. Because when I hit left and right, it's taking this left, change Y by five, and this right, change Y by five, and then it's adding these other ones in there. So it's not a great choice for the hover. So why don't we pick a new unique key for hover, okay? Why don't we pick, uh, you know, you have the back of your makey makey for anything here. So let's go ahead and pick W for hover, okay? So now W is gonna change Y by five and it's not gonna interrupt these other ones. All right, so this should now be good. And it's good that I'm making all these mistakes because then you get to see the way we think about things when we code. So random position, Left, up, let go. Right, let go. Up, left into the right. Up into the right. W, boom. Hovering with sound.
spacebar flip up spacebar flip and that's all she wrote so you have a lot of different challenges to add to this and i'm so excited to see what your controller is um, and how you take this and run with it good luck